We are now going to install grid infrastructure. What I already have here is a database named EX1 and of course a database home to, um, to run this database out of. So, uh, and I actually have it up right now. Okay, there it is. So, um, I'm doing this out of order deliberately to really confuse things because this is supposed to be master's level. So, uh, we go to uh, a grid run installer. That's where I've um, staged my software. Obviously, my uh, EX1 database is not using ASM and the data files for it can be found under Aura data right here. Okay, so this is just a standard file system database. And if I go to uh, DBS, you can see there's my SP file for EX1. And there's my password file for EX1. Well, yeah. So there's no ASM right now, which makes sense because I'm just about to install GI. So we're going to install the software only. Now, I could select install and configure GI for standalone server, and it would actually configure the standalone server Oracle Restart as well as an ASM and whatnot. But I'm going to install GI software only. So we will not be um, setting it up. Language, the group, I'm doing all this as the Oracle user. Um, the homes, okay, so there, there's the home, excuse me, there's the base, notice that my home is outside of the base because it'll be owned by root eventually. We do the prereq checks which should pass since we've already installed successfully the database product which has the same, well as I've noticed, has the same prereq checks. Okay, it looks as though I do not have NTP configured here. I'm going to ignore that and continue and we're good. Okay, so now it's asking me to run a root script, but you're gonna say, well, that shouldn't make much sense because we haven't uh, configured anything yet. So let's just run this anyhow and let's see what happens okay if I run the root script there are the three utilities and look at what it says it says to configure grid infrastructure for standalone server run this following command as the root user and this is kind of weird thing but if our intention is to create a cluster then we need to edit some config files and then run the appropriate commands afterwards so he doesn't actually know what my intention is. Is this a standalone server or will this be one of the nodes within a cluster? Well, I happen to know my intention and that is to be a standalone server. So I'm just going to copy and paste this line exactly as it says. Run it. And it's done. 